All right, so let's say you had a solar system put on your house in a previous year for 2022 for this instance, and you didn't use up all of that tax credit on your last year's tax return. Now, how do we get that carryover amount into TurboTax? Let's do it. First and foremost, you're going to have to go to your 2022 tax return and get that form 5695 that you see here. You'll scroll down here and you'll see here on line 16, right, the carry forward or the unused credit that should go on your 2023 tax return. Next, you'll come into TurboTax. You'll click on this deductions and credits button here. Scroll down. Um, and on mine, it says like your home here, and you can find this here, home energy credits. If you don't see that, you can just type in this in this box, energy, and it should pop right up, right? Home energy credits. Click on this one here. All right, and so here we go. Let's fill this out here. All right, so we're going to say, yes, we made or have a carry forward, right? That's what this line right here states. We do have a carry forward from 22. We need to know a little about, about this. Do you live in this place? So I'm going to say, yeah, this is my primary home that I had the system installed at. Energy saving improvements. Is the home is the home you made energy located in the U.S.? Yep, it's in the U.S. Were the improvements made to your main home? Yep, main home. Were there were any of these improvements related to the construction? I'm going to say, no, it's not related to the construction. The solar is not. Are you the original user of the solar, essentially? We're going to say, yep. I'm the original. Are the energy saving improvements reasonably expected to remain in use for five years? I think solar systems are like, what, 15 plus years? I'm not quite sure, but yeah, over five years. Um, any amounts that we paid for these in 23? We didn't pay for anything in 23, right? There's a carryover, so we don't fill this out. We just hit continue here. We didn't have a fuel cell. Same thing, nothing, don't fill it out. Hit continue. Tell us how much you paid for the energy saving improvements. Didn't have any of these either. Hit continue. I mean, if you did, obviously, by all means, in 23, if you paid for any of this stuff, fill it out. You'll get a little credit for that. Did you have any res residential energy property costs in 2023? I'm going to say no. We didn't have any of these improvements, right? It's kind of rare. Do you have any 22 home energy credit to carry forward? Voila, here we are. This is what we've been wanting to do. So now, and see, it's going to say, look at your last year's return and see this form 5695 line 16. So it looks exactly like this, right? Fun government uh, work papers here. <laughs> Not so easy to read, but nonetheless, there it is. You're going to go down to line 16, the credit uh, carry forward to 23. And there it is, right? 6256 in this case. And just fill it out just like that. Hit continue. And boom, voila, there's your credit carry forward entered into TurboTax. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to click that link in the description below for TurboTax. As I get a little chunk of the change, if you do, your price does not change. But uh, again, I do get a little bit, kind of just helps support our channel. Thank you so much, guys.